Hey guys, Mike Sorg, Basic Sorgonomics for this week of getting it started. And today I want to talk about platforms, but first please go check out Sorgatron.com, Sorgatronmedia.com. we got a lot of interesting stuff. New Sawtooth Willie, of course, our fun little video project we do with a local hobo type person, as well as uh, uh, you know some, some other notes in there, including uh, my work with a music video with Virgil. So, uh, but we'll get to that probably here later in the week. Uh, so first of all, hey, I want to touch base on, um, you know, I had an interesting conversation I was listening to on Daily Tech News Show about email. And they were pretty much pontificating, why is email still so prevalent? Why is this still a platform that hasn't died in a day when we have instant messaging and we have FaceTimes and we have Slacks and everything like that? And um, and the discussion kind of led to well, it, it, it it's the most persistent, and, and I think it's the most um, I, know, I guess decentralized as a, as a platform, right? Uh, is my kind of quick take on something like that. Uh, but that got me thinking about um, I distracted by the cat in the in the corner. I didn't know it was there. Uh, but then it got me going on on thinking about how we do communicate. Because one one notice on there was was uh, saying, well, I email people and then I don't get a response and then I have to look for other means. And that's something that happens. It's certainly something that happens. And uh, and 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 thinking about how we had uh, moved from the myriad of services, be it email. Um, I am uh, a, a Facebook Messenger, texting, uh, a Google Hangout, uh, because we were organizing the same project amongst different people on, on, on different pro platforms. And I just wanted to bring those people together to have a better conversation. And that's where Slack came in. Um, and it, it's worked out pretty well. Now, again, I, we're kind of running in that issue with, with, with email where I, I pose a question on Slack and some people aren't checking it anymore. And then that's become an issue. Uh, so we need to kind of retrain people there. And you need to be persistent with it. You really do need to be persistent with it. I've talked about um, getting things done. And if you follow Merlin Mann in his Back to Work series, he talks about how it's a, a, a constant, not struggle, but a constant project to make sure uh, you're doing getting things done. Because if you're not doing it properly, you're not doing it at all almost. Um, and I know I get enough to get me functional, uh, but I definitely have a lot more I could be doing to be more productive when it comes to the getting things done method. But again, with Slack, if I'm not using it, I know there's days where I haven't had anything to say or, or I've been busy with a project all day or a shoot, I'm not even checking in to see what people are up to. But I'm making sure to say, you know, drop in there and check in on people and say hi to people, you know, there instead of texting, there instead of Hangout. I still have one or two people that seem to be messaging me on whatever platform they kind of have at hand, um, you know, uh, Hangout, Messenger, uh, sometimes texting me and I, it, it just you know and i understand like that's where they got that's where their mindset is um and even su surprised when some people that usually text me pop over and start hitting me up on hangout um it, it is interesting decentralization and yeah we're all people that are on every platform uh just by nature because we are uh digital content creators but it does need to get reined in a little bit um and that's that's where the slack has come in handy and i'm trying to keep that as a thing um, it was it was an interesting experience. Um, I actually got invited to another Slack uh, the other day. Uh, I'm, I'm I guess I'm going to technically advise on something that's that's going to be coming up in the near future. And uh, and, and I don't know half the people in the Slack. And 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 I and one came in and was just like, I can't do this. Why are we doing this? Why can't we do this on Messenger? And just and and, and checked in, said a bunch of things, uh, asked a bunch of questions, and says, I'm out. I can't do this anymore. And that w that seemed to be in, a, in in the span of like twenty minutes. Um, that's unfortunate, and especially when it, I I know the organizers were trying to pull something together and get everybody on the same page. Uh, so uh, and again, everybody has to be willing. And I was definitely concerned about that when I said when I said, "Hey guys, why don't you guys start to Slack uh, go on the Slack platform?" Because I know people are all over the place uh, that I work with on on the podcast and the projects as far as uh, digital preferences and everything like that. Um, but then, I, you know, then they come to find out, you know, some people are familiar with it. Um, kind of finding the same thing with Trello. Uh, I'm being introduced to, I'm like, have you heard this thing Trello? And I'm having like two or three people come to me and say, uh, yeah, I've been on it for a while. So I'm late to the game. Okay. I, 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 I'm realizing, I'm realizing now that I need like an upgrade on my digital toolbox as I was talking about Twitter tools with somebody on Twitter yesterday. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, you get stuck in your ways, man. And plus, I mean, personally, I'm kind of, uh, uh, falling away from social media clients to let somebody else do that. And therefore I'm not 
keeping up as much. I'm more concentrating more on the video podcasting content content creation sides. Uh, so I'm really kind of just going along with with what I know there. Uh, but I do need an update about that. I need I need to keep keep abreast on the on the social media things. That's what podcasts for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, I need like a mini pod camp in the in in the meantime where not not a pod camp per se, but where we're going and doing lessons and I'm running around like a madman trying to make sure all the videos done. But um, but no, more of a a let's get together and talk shop uh, when it comes to these kinds of tools. I, I've been having a lot of opportunity lately to do that in podcasting uh, and everything. And again, you know that's where a Slack platform, a message board can come in. Uh, you know, I need to spend more time on. The Google Plus board, yes, Google Plus is still is still functional for something, and that apparently is pro wrestling discussion and uh, podcast podcaster discussion uh, that I'm finding, and and I, I really do need to keep an ear out for it. But then again, I'm not sure if the, even the owners of the board have really been that active. But things happen; people get busy. Life, people. Um, but uh, yeah, I but I I think I think it is interesting. Going rolling back to the email part. Um, it is persistent. It is the thing that everybody is able to do. I think email has become um, that ability to pick up the phone and call somebody to a certain extent, right? Um, it, 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 it's that, that persistent number. It's per, that persistent technology. And I think it's going to be a while. I think in certain respects, something like email and text messaging has replaced the phone. I think it certainly has. I don't pick up my phone anymore. Please text me. Please email me. Um, my life doesn't work for the phone anymore, the way that I do things. Uh, you know, I typically cannot, I'm not sitting at a desk, you know, ready to be interrupted. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the move. I'm in the middle of something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm building time. And, and this all makes me sound like I'm too important for phone calls. <laughs> I'm realizing how douchey that sounds. But that's, but that's, that's where I'm at. Yes, I'm I'm at the douchey part. Um, but anyways, uh, but but uh, but then you have something you know, like email that is on your time. I know some people uh, do treat email like messaging, and they get a notification for every email. That drives me batty. The, I think the beauty of a lot of these are with text messages. You know, a phone call needs to happen now. It's an inconvenience if the other person doesn't pick up, right? Versus a text message. Uh, to a certain extent, an email, um, a message on, on, on Facebook or something, um, you know, I think immediately the idea should be, okay, he'll get to that when he's at the computer or he opens up his work applications like Slack or something like that. There's not entirely an immediate response needed. Uh, and, and I think that works because you're able to time slide. Everybody doesn't need to be uh, available to you at all times on your time, which is why this is fantastic for people that work in different time zones, for instance, as we have a couple of those on our uh, partial payroll, partial uh, collaboration, I guess you could say. Uh, so that helps out tremendously. Like I notice when it gets to about, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning and my, uh, my West Coaster gets uh, really active and <laughs> everything, and, and we've been rolling for a few hours, you know. Um, but anyways, I don't know. It, it's a, it's, it, it's a good question. So what platforms are you on? Are, are, do you wish that a lot of your collaborators and colleagues could shift to a platform? Is email dead to you in your eyes? Uh, let me know what you think. Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on Twitter. Um, you know, uh, are you using Slack? What are some interesting ways you're, you're doing it? Are you using some other cool tools like Trello? Uh, I didn't explain Trello is kind of a to-do list, um, kind of situation, uh, that seems to integrate pretty nicely, and I think it's going to change up my getting things done uh, a little bit as far as the work items are concerned and the podcasting items every week. So here's to that, and hope uh, that works out for us too. So let me know what you think. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.